Welcome back Glam Fam. It is Angela Denise and I am here with you today with some Fenty goods. So yesterday I was one of those girls in line waiting at Sephora once the doors opened to pick up the new Fenty products. So I have two of the bronzers, Caramel Cutie, Coco Naughty, and then I have one of the Kilowatt foils and that is Penny For You Thoughts. The highlighter that I really wanted to try out was not in stock um, pretty much in any of the Houston Sephora so I will go ahead and order that online and then come at a later date with my thoughts on the new highlighter so I'm sure you guys already know the deal but this is the kilowatt foil penny for you thoughts I am wearing it on my lid or portion of my lid and in my lash line so this actually has a pretty chunky glitter texture which I really don't want to put on my face because I don't like chunky glitter on the skin um, especially for me because I have uh, textured on my cheeks and my cheekbones so that's one of the reasons why I don't want this on my face I opted to use it on the eye and just in case you hadn't already seen a million and one videos, this is what she looks like. So on my face right now, I have on Caramel Cutie on my right and Coco Naughty on my left. Okay, dolls, I want to go ahead and mention also that I'm wearing the Stunna Lip Paint in Unlocked. And I did have to apply about three layers of product before I got an even application. So it was kind of patchy and the texture is a little bit different than the red lip paint that I like. So I want to go ahead and mention that I was kind of a little bit let down by the patchiness of this. So we're going to go ahead and demo the application of the bronzers and the kilowatt foil. But before we do that, I want to go ahead and do some swatches against some bronzers that I already have in my collection. This is the Bobbi Brown 04. This is the Estee Lauder 04 Ipanema Sun. And then I also have the Hula bronzers in Toasted and Caramel that I want to compare these to. So I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to get into the swatches. So first, I want to go ahead and go in with Caramel Cutie. That is Caramel Cutie. I want to mention that I did prime my arm with my Hangover RX primer water. So this is neutral. This is Caramel Cutie. Next, I'm going to go in with my Becca Ipanema Sun Bronzer. Ipanema Sun is definitely um, lighter but warmer. Then next, we have the Hula Bronzer. In caramel and honestly I don't, I don't know about this one because it almost seems like it's trying to hard pan on me this is hula caramel okay real quick before we dive into the deeper shades this is the Fenty Caramel Cutie. This one is the Ipanema Sun by Becca. And this one's Caramel from uh, Benefit, the Hula Bronzer. Next up, we have Fenty in Coco Naughty. Okay, it's clearly pulling more red than Caramel Cutie on my skin tone, more red than Ipanema Sun and Carmel from Hula Benefit. Next up is going to be the Hula Bronzer in Toasted. And you can clearly see that this bronzer is pretty deep. Okay, 
So this is the Hula Caramel and this is the Hula Toasted. It's very, very deep. Um, a little bit deeper than Fenty's Cocoa Naughty. Uh, def definitely the deepest one that I've swatched so far. Next up is going to be the Bobbi Brown in Deep 4. So that's Bobbi Brown Deep 4. Pretty comparable to Fenty's Coco Naughty. I want to go ahead and swatch Fenty's Coco Naughty again right next to Bobbi Brown. And basically what I'm seeing is that the Coco Naughty is just a tad bit deeper, um, but the Bobbi Brown is definitely redder. All right, so last up is my Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder in the shade Deep Four. This one's definitely a little bit lighter than both the Bobbi Brown and the Fenty Coco Naughty, but uh, and definitely not as dark as the Toasted by Benefit. Out of this lineup, my favorites are the Ipanema Sun and I believe the Caramel Cutie here. So, yeah. Okay, dolls, that is going to wrap up my swatches. I'm going to go ahead and dive into the demo. Time for some Fenty. This is the Penny For You Thoughts Kilowatt Foil. And basically, this is a multi-use sort of a product. Initially, whenever I seen the pictures online, I was like, okay, I'm going to try to use that as a blush topper or a highlight. But honestly, so when I swatched this one in store, the glitter was super, super chunky. And I really don't want to put that on my face because I have textured skin. So I don't think that'll look flattering on me. So I'm going to go ahead and incorporate this in my eyeshadow look for today. I'm going to go ahead and apply this with a Sonia G eyeshadow brush. And this is the Builder Pro. Basically, I'm going to press this in. Merging the color that I put on the first quarter of my lid. You could apply this color with your finger. So this is a really beautiful color. I would only use this as an eyeshadow. So I do think that it's quite pricey if I'm only using it as an eyeshadow. You do get quite a bit of product at 0.2 ounces. So so it basically just depends on how you're going to use the product on whether or not it's worth it so fenty bronzers i went ahead and picked up two different shades this is caramel cutie and coco naughty i wasn't sure exactly which one would look best on my skin so we're going to try out both of them the packaging on these are stunning I'm loving the rose gold. I absolutely love the packaging. It's absolutely beautiful. They are kind of hard to open. So if you have nails or a fresh manicure, be really careful. Let's go ahead and start out with Caramel Cutie. And I'm going to be applying it with a Morphe M530 brush. And here we go. It's a powdery formula, but it doesn't kick up too much in the pan. Um, whenever I apply bronzer to my forehead, I like to brush inward. I'm going to start out with a small amount and gradually build myself up because I'm not quite sure about the pigmentation on these.
The texture on these are absolutely beautiful. It applies really nice and smooth and even on the skin. Now let's go ahead and go in with Coco Naughty. So clearly this one is gonna pull more red on my skin tone, but I wanted to go ahead and try this one out because I need something that's gonna really warm me up because I'm trying to be bronzed and beautiful this summer. Um, I'm gonna go in on the forehead again. And this is a Morphe E4 angled brush. I love this brush. Then I'm gonna pack on a little bit more color. So you guys tell me which one you like better. This is Coco Naughty. And this is Caramel Cutie. I think they both give different effects to the skin. This is more golden, this is more red. I could get down with either one. I am looking for y'all's opinion, so chime in down below. So since I was in Sephora yesterday, I really wanted to try out one of the new Fenty lip paints. I told you guys that I would probably when they first came out. So this is the Stunner Lip Paint in Unlocked. Hey girl, look at this lip. This lip is like summertime, seriously. It's disgusting. <laughs> I love it. Okay dolls, I am back and I do have on a tube top. I wanna go ahead and apply some Fenty Body Lava since we are using Fenty products today or some of Fenty's products. Um, this is the Body Lava in Brown Sugar. I am going to go ahead and put some on me. And this is a e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. So I really like the body lava because I feel like brown sugar gives me a, a hint of color and it gives me the glisten that I want whenever the sun hits my body. So the bronzers, I love. I absolutely love the bronzers. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna be leaning a little bit more towards Caramel Cutie, but I also wanna give the other one a try like Bayesian girl or something like that because I want the one that has warmth to it but I think that Coco Naughty might be a little bit too deep because I only apply, applied one layer and it's on this side Caramel Cutie is on this side so I don't know you guys chime in down below and let me know but the texture the packaging the price all of those things I'm in love with now the penny for you thoughts on the other hand it is a beautiful 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 product um it shows up really good on my skin tone so for that reason i really can't use it for a highlighter i would only be able to use it for like a blush topper or an eyeshadow and for 30 dollars for a blush topper or an eyeshadow that's a little bit on the pricey side that's like exceeds pat mcgrath's prices so um i don't really think that if i was only going to use it for that purpose that it's worth that price in my opinion so it's a beautiful product if you have a really deep skin tone and you wanted to use it for highlighting i think that would be perfect anyway you guys chime in down below let me know what you think of the bronzers which shades you think i should go for caramel cutie or coco naughty and until the next time dolls i will see you later bye